Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Julie and this is a weekly shopping haul. So this will feed four to five people, probably five people. We tend to have Chloe over most days for breakfast and lunch and we quite often have Tom's girlfriend here for dinner. So generally it's five people it's feeding. I haven't done a big shop for quite a few weeks. I've done a big Iceland shop. I think it was last week or the week before, might be the week before last. And we've been kind of just getting bits and bobs during the week. So this week I went to Asda to do a big shop. I saw a few things in the magazine that I wanted to pick up. I didn't have them. It was also a fail because I tried to use the app and the app, they had no reception whatsoever. The Wi-Fi wouldn't give you any internet and there was no signal, so I couldn't scan anything. So I was really in the dark as to what I was buying. But I'll show you what I bought. Now, this came to £140, I believe. My very long receipt is here. Let me check the amount. This came to £144.47. Um, that did include roughly £10 of stuff that's for Ewan, which I'm not going to bother filming because he's had that he's paying for ice cream and sweets and cans and crisps so there's about 10 pound of that in there and the rest of it i shall show you so it's about 134 pounds worth so i'll show you that so this is in no particular order and there is still a bag of stuff there that i've not got out yet i've run out of space on this particular table i bought a four pack of beans they're sin free on the plan i've got some household stuff so this is spray stuff to get stains out of you and chef whites um, this surf was, I think the cheapest they had this was on offer. I can't remember how much it was, about three pounds, I think. I also bought some of this Oxy powder, because obviously Chef Whites get very, very dirty, very hard to get clean. I've got some peeled plum tomatoes. I just went for the store, like standard cheap ones for those. Didn't have any tin cherry tomatoes, so it's a bit disappointing. I got some fat-free cork, because I'm gonna try and make a quiche or something this week. I got some of the Ravita Fruit Punch and you can get three of those for a health extra B or two and a half sins I think it says there, I haven't got my glasses on, I did scan them in. Um, I've got a pot of tomato and mascarpone sauce, this is for fresh pasta that I've bought for the kids, that's 15 sins for the pot, I won't be having any of that, <laughs> that's for sure. I've got this 30% less fat mild grated cheese, they did have 50% less, less fat mature one but you got less for your money, so I bought this one. You get 40 grams of this for a healthy extra A, or it's four sins for the 40 grams, I believe. This one isn't scanning as a healthy extra A, this is a grated four cheese blend, and this comes in at 4.5 sins for 25 grams. Next up, I got these, these are for the boys, not for me. There's a barbecue chicken melt, this is frozen, and this is 14 sins. So I definitely wouldn't be having that. And this Mighty Meatball Pasta Feast, again, this one is, I wrote it on somewhere, did I write it on there? I think it was about 15. Can't read my own writing, but anyway, they're not for me. And most people doing the same world won't be able to accommodate those, unless you're a man with quite a big allowance. Next up, I bought some soft pitters. These are healthy to be, these brown ones and the white ones aren't. I do find it frustrating and I understand why they do it for healthy eating reasons but if you look at the calories and the fat content there's very little difference but those ones are like gold dust around where I live you can hardly get hold of them um, but obviously they're not healthy extra B. I can't remember what sins are in them, did I write it down somewhere? I might not have bothered because I wouldn't be having them anyway. Next is just some lady items, just some sanitary products and these wipes are actually for Luna because if she has a bit of a messy bottom, it's, these are flushable, so I thought I'd buy some of those. Um, bread, this isn't for me. This comes in at, I think I did scan this one in. Did I write it down somewhere? But if it's like, uh, there it is. Six cents a slice, I think. Not for me, I've already got some bread in for myself. This is fresh tabula telly, and this is free on the plan, so this will be for Eddie and I. Um, eggs, obviously they're sin free. I have checked all of these cooked meats and these are all free. So I've got port loin, I've got some ham, which is hickory smoked ham, and some chicken breast. That's the one I wanted to really check, so I wasn't sure what the coating was, but it is sin free. These surprise me a little. I've got this spicy sausage, and this is coming up, I don't know if that's for half pack or the whole pack, but it's 11 sins, which I was quite surprised at. And this one came in at 10 and a half sins. So if you are a man with quite a few sins, you could actually accommodate having some of that. I shan't be having any because that would be nearly my whole day sins gone, but it is doable, I suppose, at a push. I got some paracetamols, tomorrow's puree. I have checked this one. This one is sin free. 
I've got a roast chicken, which is for today's dinner. Obviously, I'll remove the skin before I have any, and that'll be something. I bought two of these. These were on offer for 50p. This butter chicken one is eight and a half sins, which if you serve it to four people, is more than doable. This Cajun one is only five and a half sins, so that's definitely something that I'll be trying. I bought some of this golden vegetable rice. This comes in at one per pack. I would never have the entire pack myself anyway, so half a sin probably for half the pack for me. Mint sauce, I've checked this one, and this one is something like uh, half a sin for a level tablespoon. There it is, but I'll just check it. Sweet corn, which is three green beans, which is speed. Um, now, I didn't have my scanner, and I couldn't remember which one of these were healthy extra beans and which ones weren't, so I have to buy both packs. Those ones are the healthy extra bean. These protein seasonal ones come in quite high. I can't even read my own writing. What's that right? I went to trouble of scanning it, and I can't actually read it. Is that my writing? I don't know. Might have to check those again and put it on screen. So they're coming in at seven and a half cents per bagel, so really not that good. Um, these are not for me, but they are scanning at five cents each. I've got some of the Simply Chicken, spring chicken, sorry, sausages, the heck ones, they're half a cent each, and I've got some Simply Chicken ones, and they're half a cent each. Seen quite a lot of people talking about these Richmond meat free sausages, so I thought I'd try those. Couldn't check the sin value, they're one and a half each, so quite a bit higher than the heck ones, but maybe a bit more substantial, I don't know. But I bought them anyway. Finally managed to get some Hellman's Lighter Than Light. I haven't been able to get this anywhere near me recently. So this is half a sin for level tablespoon. I've also picked up some 73%, I think it is, less fat Santa cream, and that's one per tablespoon, whereas the full fat one I've been using has been two. So it's whole sin saved. I've bought some of this lightest herb Philadelphia, and that's one sin for 25 grams. Might be nice to stir through some pasta. I've got some other toiletry bits, so just some shower gel, some shampoo, and I've bought some of this reduced sugar sweet chilli, and this is one sin per tablespoon. I've got some squash, some bits for Lena, so just some snacks, and some other meat. I bought some quag. This quag is my favourite, and you only seem to better get at Asda and Sainsbury's around here, but this big one I've only seen at Asda. This is two sins for the entire massive pot, and obviously I wouldn't ever have the entire pot in one go, but that is one of my favourites, so it's definitely worth spending the sins. The Milky Bar desserts are coming in at five per dessert, and the Rolo ones, I think, are seven. They're, they're certainly more. I wish I could read my writing. I went to all the trouble of scanning them. Yeah, seven per pot. So neither of those are for me. Um, I've got beetroot and spring. I get my words out. Pickled onions. They're just to add extras to salads and things. I've got some shampoo and conditioner, and that is that lot. And then I've got some more. These are mainly veggies and stuff, but I'll get those out and show you shortly. And the last bit, in no particular order, I have bought some wraps. I haven't scanned those in. I have to check the sins. Just bear with me. They're coming up at nine sins per wrap. I haven't bought them for me. They're more for you. Um, I've bought two bags of stir-fry vegetables. These should be sin free and speed. I've not checked them, but I'm pretty sure they will be. But it's just vegetables at the end of the day. Um, I've bought some no added sugar Vimto, I've got some romaine lettuce, I've got some sriracha primula, um, I can't remember the exact amounts, I always mark it to say how much you get, but I know um, probably about half of that tube of the light one is a health extra B. Um, I've got some wooden pegs because they were a pound and I need some more pegs. I've got some mushrooms which are speed, baby corn and one two which I believe is speed. I've got some gorilla glue because I've got a strip coming off my car that needs to go back on. I've got some green beans and some salad tomatoes, they're both speed. I've got some chantilly carrots, which is for today's dinner. They're speed, tend to spend broccoli, that's speed. Apples for speed, cucumber. I've got some custard donuts, which I don't know how many sins are in those. I've got a celery, which is speed. I've got spring onions and carrots, which are speed. I've got peppers and sweet clams, which are speed. Cherry tomatoes for speed, onions for speed, bananas are free, and courgettes for speed. So lots of speed on this table, um, so that's what we need for this week. 
so that is all the shopping that I've bought for this week. Hopefully there's enough for us to see the week through without having to go out and buy anything else. We have got some obviously store cupboard and bits and bobs in the fridge and freezer already anyway. Um, I didn't, you'll notice, apart from the whole chicken and sausages, didn't get any meat and that was like £130 for our food without you and snacks in there. The, the meat didn't look great and it was expensive. Either small portions or it just wasn't slim world friendly. So they had lots and lots of chops and chicken breasts that had coatings on and because I couldn't scan them I wasn't going to risk it. I have still got some chicken in the freezer and I've got a big bag of frozen 5% fat beef mince from Iceland so I'm not too worried I have got plenty in there to be able to make a meal but obviously it's not ideal spending if I, I would I know if I'd spent that amount of money I would have come out with a load of meat as well I'd have got a big pack of chicken and probably some mints and stuff as well so I do think it's more expensive than Aldi, but I'm hoping that the veg lasts a bit longer because obviously the veg sometimes from Aldi can be a little bit on the uh, close to the the edge. So when you first buy it, if you don't eat it straight away, it can it can go. That does seem to have got better recently, but it, it can go quite quick if you're not intending to eat it all. And obviously if you buy it for the whole week, you want it to last the whole week. So I think for day, today for dinner, we've got roast chicken. I've got some of the Jersey raw new potatoes, which we'll be having. And I might do some roast potatoes in the act to fry. And then I'm going to have the baby corner munch too, green beans, broccoli, plenty of speed, um, carrots and things. So it should be quite nice, hopefully. Looking forward to that. So yeah, and plenty of ideas for meals for during the week. I've got plenty of vegetables and things. So, so that's that. And I shall catch you next time for the next one.